Tango, what to do? Jonna said to me today, girl, when it's like 5.01 or 5.02 and you're not there, I think you're not going live today. And I get worried. I didn't realize that when I'm tardy, it actually stresses you guys out. So thank you. Thank you for letting me stress you out. No, I'm not, not stripping. Not stripping. Um, but I got to be able to move. Um, I'm streaming here on YouTube today. I thought that would be fun. I haven't streamed on YouTube in a long time. And now that I got my little dual action camera, let's turn down that uh, brightness a little bit. How are you guys today? Heather, I'm so oh, I didn't call you back. <laughs> Sadie said to me, she goes, I said, uh, I'm going to do the live and then I got to make a couple calls. And she said, regular person calls or you talking to Heather calls, basically is what she said. Isn't she adorable? I said, I said both. <laughs> All right, don't you forget, you guys, Heather's going live tomorrow, right? She's going live right after me. Heather, oh, we didn't practice. All right, we'll practice tomorrow. We'll practice tomorrow. How are you guys doing well today? Are you doing something fun? Are you creating? Are you going out there, painting things left and right? So here's what I want to talk about today. For those of you guys who, um, I'm not used to going live in portrait mode anymore. I gotta like, hold on, I gotta like think about this. I gotta consider this. Um, that's not good, there we go. Okay, so today is the day that we're gonna wrap this up as far as the blend goes, but we're at a very specific part of the blend that I wanna explain to you guys. Um, <laughs> uh, welcome, Summer. You guys, if you're new, please come on. Tell me where you're coming from. Tell me how you found me. Um, all the good stuff, all the good stuff. And uh, I haven't gone back to check through to see who gave me some would you blend, would you blend, would you bend uh, suggestions, but don't forget to do that. Don't forget to do that. Um, I'm gonna put in that order in the next day or so. So we're gonna make that happen. Here's what we're gonna talk about today on, I think what I have to do, I'm trying to get so you guys can see me well enough. I should have gone in landscape mode for everybody. That's what I should have done. But what can you do? Hold on. I'm going to switch you guys around for a second. Just hold on tight. Hold on tight. You're just going to stare at the ceiling for a second. It's just going to be a second. Get over it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to get everybody sorted. Are you guys back? Let's see. Okay. I rotated my phone. I'm just trying to get so you guys can see me better. Can you see me better? Can you see the piece better? You don't need to see me. You don't need to see me. You need to see the piece. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the, is the final blend. So we've got all of our colors on here. Order what you like in case it doesn't something, something. Okay, I'll go check and see. I am gonna order what I like, you guys, but there's so much to choose from. There's just so many options. So I just love to know um, what you guys like so I make sure I'm ordering for you. Um, what we talked about yesterday was layer two. So let's talk a bit about layer two and then we'll, we'll go from there. So layer two is all about kind of uh, filling in all the nooks and crannies and starting, starting to establish your final look and feel. But you don't have to get it perfect just yet. But, for example, let me bring you guys in. Okay. For example, this was layer two yesterday. Oh, gosh, this is going to drive me crazy. Okay. Layer two. It's, um, it's, it's not blended yet, but we've established what our colors are going to be. Okay? And this is layer two, and now we're going to do layer three. Layer three does not require, remember what we talked about? I'm live on YouTube, Heather, yes. Heather's over there on YouTube. Heather, you're supposed to be over here on Facebook. Where are you? I'm on both, I'm on both. I thought I'd try doing, um, I used to go live on Facebook. Welcome, uh, excuse me, live on YouTube. I used to do it all the time using Ecamm, uh, but my it just wasn't working and so I stopped. But now that I have a little dual thing going, I can get back on here. So excited to be back on YouTube. So this is a giant piece we've been painting, for those of you new, using Debbie's Design Diary Paints. 
These are clay-based paints. Those of you who are new on either channel, I'm, you're never gonna be able to read my bottle or my can because I'm, it's always gonna be a mess. Um, I always put them in the FIFO bottles. But basically, the beauty of these, the beauty of using these paints is that they can reconstitute with water. They allow you to do advanced blending. Other paints, whether it's Annie Sloan, Dixie Bell, even Miss Lillian, whatever you paint on there, um, that's your layer. You're not going back underneath it. You might be able to do a wet distress. You might be able to do sanding, but basically clay paints, I'm gonna go back so you guys can see, are the only paints that allow you to layer this way and to layer this way. So this is a big piece we've been working on, everybody. Big piece, we, hey Sadie. Oh, never mind. Um, big piece we've been working on, just painting, pla practicing layering, learning how to play with these colors and using every part of this process, step one, step two, step three, to blend different paint colors together to see what we love. FIFO, first in, first out. Those of you who waited tables or do wait tables know about the ketchup and mustard dispensers and all the other things you have in a kitchen, which is first in, first out, okay? So I love to put all my clay-based paints in these. I sell them on my website, tangwoodworks.com. And what you can do is then it holds your paint and you squirt it out like it's mustard. Look at that, I grabbed the mustard colored one too. <gasps> I have you live on my phone. Oh, Heather's testing. So tomorrow, right after me, you guys, we're gonna jump over to Pajo Gaga on Facebook and we are going to watch Heather go live. No pressure, we love you. All right, so. We've put the stencil on. We've put the layers on. Anybody watching on YouTube who wants to see all the steps that it took to get here, either wait for the final video, which I will post, or you can jump on over here to Facebook and come see it all. Um, so this is what I want to talk about. So now you can kind of see uh, what we've got going on. We did an inverted stencil here. We're layering colors here. And yeah, we're going, we're going psychedelic. There's no doubt about it. We are not... This is not a piece that uh, we have applied restraint, have we? We have, not, we have not applied any restraint because this is for my studio, it's not for my store. Um, yes, HGTV, if you must have this piece, we'll work out a deal, or Architectural Digest, you know, I mean, you know, you can, you can butter me up a little bit. But uh, basically this piece is only for me and it's only for my studio to look at and to make me happy every time I see it. That's it, that's all, and it does. So let's talk about the next layer. So what we put on the first coat, right? We just put on the colors that, all right, I need to put another thing here. Can you guys hold it? One second. One second, you guys. I need another Sorry guys, my, um, I need to put this in and move one of you over because y'all are all crowded on the bed. Everybody's crowded on the bed. So I need to move a couple of you over so everybody can get the right view. Give me just a second. Sorry for the technical. Heather, remember when I told you that you need to practice everything live because you never know what's gonna go wrong? Yeah, I forgot that you can't go live vertically. There we go on YouTube. So everybody's knocking into each other. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, there we go. So enough yapping. Let's get paint. We're on the third and final coat. This is where, this is the fun part. <laughs> Heather, you're driving me. Heather's like, I'm here on, I'm... which is better, Heather? Is it better watching me on YouTube or on Facebook? Because um, YouTube is horizontal, Facebook's vertical. We are down to the last of the kissing booth. So I took the top off my FIFO bottle. So we're using that. And why don't I bring my paints closer to you? So this is what you need when you're doing your final blend, okay? You need music on or you need your friends with you. You need to not get stressed. I highly recommend a cocktail. Okay, because this is the fun finesse part. I don't want you guys frustrated. Okay, because I know that when you're blending, 
with chalk paints and you're trying to get that perfect ombre or that perfect blend, it can get very, very frustrating and we don't want that to happen. So I'm putting out all these different colors that we've been using. Now, I'm gonna set that aside. So I've got all the colors here. Okay, you guys? Facebook is a clearer picture. Interesting, all right, good to know. I'll go back and watch it too. Um, both cameras are pretty, are pretty good. So that must be a YouTube streaming thing. I'll go check it. Um, but well, actually, Facebook is my brand new camera, so that could play a role. I'm using the Paint Pixie blending brush today, okay? YouTube is usually a better picture. Betty, you watch Facebook and YouTube, so I guess it just depends. Maybe it depends on what she, what device she's using. Where is she using an um, iPad? She's using an iPad or not? That's why we do it. We test it. All right, I'm using the Paint Pixie blending brush. You guys can get this from my website. I'm also using Miss Lillian's wax brush, not for wax. I'm also using my other Paint Pixie brushes. So here's what I want to tell you at the final blend. Have all your brushes, have all, I got them all. <laughs> have all your brushes handy. All of them from all over the house. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But what we, what we need is we need some are soft, we need some are short, we need, we need it all. Um, you may not need to use all of them, but at the final, final blend, the easiest thing to do to get that wispy, perfect blend is to have clean brushes, okay? <coughs> the other thing I want you to have is your water bottle, okay? I have this on my website. A lighting issue, I'm a little blown out. Yeah, I think it's the camera, because the other one, I'm not. Let me, uh, thank you, Lisa. Lisa's over watching me. See if that's better, Lisa. I think it might be this phone. I don't know, but I'll, I'll keep trying. As long, doesn't matter if I'm blown out. Just make sure you can see the piece okay. Can you guys see the piece okay? That's what we need to make sure you can see this okay. Oh, much better. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, so now you guys look even. All right, so we've got this going. I've already worked on blending out other things prior to you coming. I worked on the center. So let's look at the center. Hey, Lisa, good to see you again, sweetheart. We've worked on the center. So, wispy, it looks wispy. I've got it blended. We're gonna check it. Remember how we check it, you guys? We're gonna check it by wetting it down a little bit and making sure we've got the blend that we want. Now, I'm not going for, I'm going for lots of colors. I'm not going for a perfect ombre blend. I'm really not. Um, but I'm also not going for a dry brush look. I don't like the dry brush look, okay? So I wanna make sure everybody can see this, okay? It's already starting to dry, but can you see there that, that it's blended together pretty darn nice? Hi, Diane. Um, I'm happy with it. Whereas here, here, sorry, I have to keep moving the vertical over. Here, it's, it's a little strident, so let's, let's, Let's blend this out a little bit. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure I have these colors. Now, sometimes, you guys, you don't need the actual colors anymore. Sometimes, if you wet this down enough, you don't even need, but I'm using a mister, okay? I'm using a mister, I sell these on my website. Um, I love them. Don't use a water bottle. Use a continuous spray mister because a water bottle will drip. See, that's wet, but it's not dripping. Okay, then the next thing I'm gonna do is grab all the brushes that I just moved over here. Let's test it. Sometimes you wanna let it sit there just a second to see if it starts to reconstitute. Do you see that? See how I'm getting it back on my brush? Too many straight lines. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Betty. So I'm seeing that I can actually move this paint around. But, do you see right there? I got a little bald spot. I went too hard. That's okay. Um, usually, the wet method of paint blending requires three or four coats of paint because you need to be able to excavate 
okay? So because I'd only really done two coats there, by the time I put the water on and started mushing, I can go right back down to the beginning. That's the danger. You'll learn, you'll get a feel for how far you can go. It's almost like, literally, you'll learn how hard you can push before it pushes back. So I'm gonna go with these same colors. I like the green, I like the pink, I like, I've already stood back and said, that works. So now I just need to do it again. So I'm gonna start with my, so I gotta kinda cover that back up again. And I'm gonna just go over it again, but this time I'm gonna blend it in a little more. Now, remember what we talked about yesterday? We should not have to worry about getting in the nooks and crannies this time. This should just be, we are having some fun. I'm not changing out my brush. I'm just using the same brush to move this around. And when one of my colors runs out, I can go to the next color, okay? So I'm using Kissing Booth. You guys, this is Debbie's Design Diary Paint. I sell it right from my shop for those of you who are new and are like, what's going on here? Um, I have two brands of paint that I sell. Uh, this is, I'll try to remember to say the name. So this one, what did we call it? Cowgirl Coral. Um, Miss Lillian's is much easier to get started with. Um, does not require a top coat. Is super easy but you can't do this kind of advanced blending with it you can blend with it absolutely but not this kind of blending not this kind of blending where we're blending layer after layer after layer okay so now do you see I'm just like crisscrossing 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 see how much smoother that is hi Anne hi Lene hey Kate let me know if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing I need a little bit of more green over there. So that is, that is, I'm trying to remember now, Salty Kiss. We were able to make kind of a limey green using the Salty Kiss. Those of you who I might be offending, but no, I'm not cleaning my brush at this point. I like having the different colors kind of, they kind of pop up and say, hello, hello, as long as you don't over mix them. As long as you don't over mix them, it can be really nice. Okay, so now that I've got those on there, okay, they're not, they dry by the time, it's like painting the Golden Gate Bridge. Helen wants to know how long it takes for them to dry. By the time I get over to this side, it's gonna be dry. And so um, I don't prime, Kate, I don't prime my pieces. I use First Step Prep by Miss Lillian's. It's a spray, it's available on my website. Tanglewood, uh, tanglewoodworks.com. It etches it and cleans it at the same time. And if it's really, really, um, if there's damage or anything like that, I just use a, a sanding sponge, but I don't prime unless I'm doing some kind of, um, if I'm going over plastic or uh, some like French provincial piece that has like that lacquer laminate top, those need priming. Other than that, save your time, save your money, save your energy. Because you guys, when you prime, oh, I gotta move because this is gonna dry. When you prime, you can't go back to all the layers underneath and you can't go back to the wood either. Okay, this is why I wanted you to have all these brushes. Watch. Hi, Renee. We've got it. I'm, I'm spritzing it down and keeping it a little bit wet. I like seeing these brush strokes a little bit, but not so much. But I don't wanna take this and do more. I don't wanna add more color. I just wanna move around the color that I got. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm feathering it out a little bit. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right. So we've got the same look going. And then once you get some on your brush, we don't, we're not at the stage where we wanna keep depositing more color. Right now we're at the stage where we're just moving the color around. And that's why I can keep it Easter egg. Hi, Mary. You're watching on both? Okay, that's really good to know. It might be that this is an older, that YouTube's an older model, um, older model phone. I don't know. It could be. Hi, Liz. Uh, if, if that continues, I'll go watch it after. Thank you, YouTube, for letting me know. Uh, I'll just have to get another, get another phone. <laughs> I know, I'm 
phones can I have? Because I don't think my iPad will make it better. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend it out. Thank you for letting me know that. All right, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Can you see how much softer that is now? All right, let's do that again up top. Let's do it again. So I'm gonna go up here to this blue, to the blues. Oh, what I was telling you is, I keep a rag handy so that I can keep, hello, Julia. So I can keep this clean-ish, which will work to a certain extent. But once you get to the point where it's getting hooky or dry, throw this into a bucket to wash for later, okay? But I just go like this. This is why I have to have good cheap brushes. This is what I do to my brushes. <sighs> Lisa, was the top of your, uh, Lisa, y'all know Lisa, Steven, um, was the top of your French Provincial piece that plasticky laminate stuff? God, your comments don't stay up here long enough for me to see them. Sorry if I missed them. Yeah, and you didn't prime it? Yeah, so DIY paint is the most sticky. I mean, I will say that. Can you do close up? Yes. Um, like I said, the only time I prime is when I have something that's really plasticky, but even with DIY paint, you may not even need to do that, okay? You may not even need that. DIY paint is very, very clay-based. So out of all the paints out there is the least like a latex. Um, so the, the test is, can you scratch it and will it come back off? And almost 99% of the time, you're pretty much safe with clay-based paints as far as priming. I keep like, I, you all know I love my TikTok, um, but it drives me insane how many times I see people who obviously don't paint furniture that much, which is fine. I mean, we all have to get into it where we get into it, but they're always priming first. And I'm like, where are you guys getting the, this intel that you need to do that? That's just a waste of time and money. And all the fumes, ick. Okay, so this one is more of the blues the gold you see i'm just going back and forth oh y'all can't see i'm just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth there we go okay i'm gonna put a little on my brush drag it over i will say what i'm enjoying about this brush i have a few left and then i have to start my new account with paint pixie directly because i got these from diy they no longer retail these brushes don't worry I'll still get them. I'm just waiting on my ability to order them directly from the manufacturer, i.e. Paint Pixie. Y'all heard me say I wasn't as in love with these for the blending, but this kind of blending, I'm digging it. They're working. All right. We talked about this yesterday. When you do your second coat of chalk paint over chalk paint, it starts getting really sticky. Sticky is not the right word doesn't glide I don't know I don't know the right word to use but it just doesn't glide and so it's really key to kind of keep your water handy but if you're if you're paying attention to what I'm doing you're not drunk already I know Heather <laughs> who's, who's, who's already started cocktail hour um, if you're paying attention you notice I'm not going over this over and over I'm kind of wiping off putting a little bit on. I'm not like, uh, when people are taking classes for me, they're, yeah, it's kind of, I'm kind of dragging it. When people have taken classes for me, what I've noticed, if I turn my back for two seconds, they've already mushed all the colors into one. It's, <laughs> y'all know I love you. If you've taken a class for me, I'm talking about you. I am, I'm talking about you. Um, I'm like, okay, now we just lightly blend. We're not gonna go too far. I turn around two seconds later and they've made mud. Don't blend it so much that you lose the blend, okay? That you, you, you lose your individual colors. There, I think that's pretty good. I wanna get in my, what I was saying about this is that unlike the round brushes, when I'm doing a piece like this, I'm able to get right in that corner, which is really cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna spritz, keep it wet. 
I would say keep it moist, but I hate that word. Hi, Anne. <laughs> yeah, that was you, girl. No, it's fine. <laughs> so Anne took my blending glass. I was like, oh, yeah, busted. Okay, you did good, girl. You did good. Now I'm going to lightly, I'm, gonna, I'm going left and right, left and right. Okay. But you y'all got to find what works for you. That might not be that might not be your preferred stroke for lack of a better term. Let me see if I can get you in here tilting down so you guys can see this. I know it's a little bit of a pain that um I think you guys can see that. I'm going to lift you up so you can go down. Um you just have to bear with me. I personally have a pet peeve with lives where I can't see what's happening. Um, so I like to take the time to readjust the camera wherever I need to so that you guys can see everything. I know sometimes that can be a little bit of a pain while we readjust, but there you go. I think you guys can see that better now. And you guys can see that better now, right? All right, I want you guys to see. I need you to see in here. Here's to a failed dry January. Jenny, girl, Jenny, girl, I know people do dry January. I can't imagine. <laughs> Let me tell you what I thought to myself yesterday. I actually had this thought. I went, oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't drink tonight. I didn't drink tonight. Wow, goody on me. And then I thought back, then I thought back over the evening Mama, don't worry. I'll get help. I did drink. I just, I just wasn't drunk. <laughs> the correct answer was, oh, I didn't get drunk on a weeknight. That's, that's my level of improvement. So, um, yeah, no, 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 no dry January for this for this girl no no not even gonna try it not not till this strain of COVID is done and the next strain of COVID is done okay you come to me and you tell so once you tell me that all strains of COVID are taken care of and all political chaos has resolved itself in some way I would then say I might consider not drinking, but here's the thing. Once that happens, I'm going to need about a year to celebrate. So once you guys solve um, world peace and you actually get rid of all the new strains of COVID that are coming out, sorry, yeah, sorry, I had to put that out there. And um, as my son said, who's 18, and I said, it's an exciting time. Let's turn on the news. I mean, you're living through history. You're living through some of the most bizarre and captivating and, and you're living through things in history that no one else has ever seen before in their lifetime. And he looks at me and he goes, I'm tired of having my entire life be a series of events that no one has ever seen before. He's like, I just, can we, can I just have a normal childhood? I was like, yeah, sorry. Considering I was pregnant with him during 9-11, I think my poor baby's doomed. Uh, he's doomed. So anyway, but if y'all, if y'all can get this whole everything in order and calm down, and then I can celebrate for a year with my gin and tonics, then, and only then, will I maybe consider a dry January maybe for a week who's with me who's with me who's with me i know i i have i have mad respect for those of you who can um who can do that i will i will find other ways to be good to my body i will be creative isn't that enough isn't that enough can't that be enough can't that be enough i don't want to do any more y'all ever since covid and quarantine like I mean, I'm just, I'm just driving home dreaming about what cocktail will I have tonight? 
<laughs> Hi, Tina. Hi, Whitney. Are you with me, Whitney? All right, so can you all see what I'm doing in here? Let's turn a little bit. So basically what I'm doing is I am just... I'm just smoothing it out. I'm smoothing out that, that might be too hard for you to see. I might need to move to another spot. This would be easier if it was the front of a dresser. But here's the thing. Here's the really cool thing, you guys, about this whole piece, is that I feel like every little part of it has been, sorry about that, I'm trying not to have it blow out too much. Every part of it has been a new experience, a new experiment. I'm gonna turn down, I feel like I'm blowing out again. Is that better? Every part of it has been slightly different. So we got that. Let's go back up here and fade that out a little bit. You want to do it before it dries. Go into the store. Do you have enough alcohol? See, that's a man who loves you. Actually, that's a man who... <laughs> that's, a man who... that's a smart husband. I got that same husband. Uh, and he knows that... Um, it's not really about making sure I have alcohol. It's, it's making sure that he has a wife who has alcohol. Let's get it straight. Let's get it straight. It's all about them. Uh, it's all about survival. Survival. Yeah. Hi, Berta. How about you guys on YouTube? Right? Are you doing a dry January? Are you, are you risking that? I just don't think my kids would want to be around me. Sober mom, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm not making fun of being an alcoholic, you guys. I'm sorry if I've offended anybody. I mean, it wouldn't be alive with Tangwood Sue if there wasn't somebody I offended. On some level, raise your hand if you've been offended. On some level, because I can't stop the live until I've, I've done that. Um, oh, that looks good. Doesn't that look so blendy, blendy? Sometimes you can't tell until we get back. Let's stand back. Let's stand back. Let's look at the whole thing. Let's look at it all. Okay. See how much more blendy blendy that is? There we go. Um, I'm gonna do this next. But let's stand back and look at the whole thing. Sorry, I have a table in the way right now. Can you guys see everything? Yeah, okay, so let's talk about this. I'm gonna tilt you down, YouTubey. Okay. Oh, I just got mentioned in a comment. I'm sorry, I've got my notifications on. That's never a good thing. When Tango Sue gets mentioned in a comment, it's usually because I said something and somebody's got to tell me off. Oh well, what are you gonna do? I only get my groceries, no contact methods. We can't get alcohol. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Well, we have places, we have liquor stores that deliver, darling. Um, find out if your liquor store delivers. But no, I, I, I feel ya, I feel ya. Um, what I did, Let's look at the whole thing together because I think we're about there. I think we're about done. Please God, let us be done with this piece. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Remember that when you're working with DIY, okay? I know I've got some of you on here who've done this for years and you might be tired of hearing me say it, but every day we have new people. Every day we have new awesome people joining us um, and they may not know this, so forgive me for being uh, repetitive. But these colors are not the colors, okay? It's all gonna get darker. It's all gonna, it's all gonna deepen when we put the top coat on. And the colors are going to, um, where it looks really nicely blended now. Hi, Sapphire and Richard. Um, oh, honey, KB is like, <laughs> oh, wait, is that why my stomach hurts? <laughs> Oh, I know. We're all just we're all just getting by, you guys. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Every from every day that I can be, I am here. I am here even on the days that I'm in a terrible mood. Y'all don't even see me sometimes right before I come on. But you know what? I know that getting on here, I'm going to feel better. Um I feel like you guys feel better, and so um if we all feel better at the end, it's worth doing it. And um so Let's put this on, let me show you. Here's the thing on the bottom. We've got these done. I wanna put the top coat on. I wanna to put the top coat on next week. I wanna be done and put the top coat on and then we'll work on shading and then we'll work on antiquing and all that stuff, but we gotta get this done first. So we're gonna take my water bottle, okay? 
You can get it right from my website, tanglewoodsue.com. Just look for a water mister. This one's awesome. I researched a bunch. Um, so look at, look at these colors. What I like to do is darken it down with the water. Okay, so we can look at it now. Did you see how that darkened? I think the yellow's too bright. Betty, I did paint the underneath parts. I did actually. You know why? Because if I'm, if I'm sitting or doing a live or anything like this, I can see it all. So I did, I painted underneath. Yay me, yay me. Thank you, Tammy. What do you guys think? YouTube, what do you think? I think that um, my feeling is that I don't actually have that pure a yellow in here, except for maybe up here. Let's, let's look at that. That needs a little blending still. Okay. But do you see that yellow? is toned down. It's got green and it's on top of pink, so it's toned down. Thank you, Lisa. Who agrees though? Who agrees that this is the only thing that's standing out a little too much? Thank you, Tasha. Okay, let me put it another way. I think it all works perfectly if I stand like this. Okay. You do? You think it's, okay, so so here it is. Here are all the colors. We've got, um, I just feel like we have very secondary colors. We have the lime, we have the orange, we have a very orange red, turquoise, we have coral, we have purple, um, more turquoise, periwinkle, and then all of a sudden, ba bam Straight up yellow. I don't know, that's just more blendy blend. I agree. I think, well, I do want to do a dark wax over the whole thing. So some of you might be going, it needs, yeah, it's too bright. M's right. All right, let's, let's play with it for a second. I'm going to tilt you back down. We'll play with that for a little bit, and then we'll come back next week. Um, so here's the thing. I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking, thinking long and hard about this. Um, I feel like I don't want to wax the piece. I don't want to wax this piece, you guys. First of all, I think I might lose my mind. I mean, I do have an electric, I, I do have an electric thing I can use to, to wax it. But I think I am going to use instead, um, I think I'm going to use an acrylic top coat instead. Uh, and then I can always put a dark wax over that. I can put a dark wax over, let me move that. The, uh, over the acrylic because if I do a wax here's the thing for those of you who are like what is she talking about wax acrylic I'm probably going to use Miss Lillian's flat or general finishes flat out flat I really do like general finishes flat out flat let's play around with this yellow Jenny and see um because once you wax something, you're done. I mean, you're not, you're not done, done. You can still add um, finishing wax. You can still add metallic wax. You can still add aging dust. You can still do all of those things. But it will be difficult to go back and add paint. Um, and you have to constantly rebuff it. So for me personally, I, for a piece this big, I want to just roll on the acrylic and that way so here's what will happen let's say I roll on the acrylic I stand back and it's perfect except for one area that did not blend the way I thought it was gonna blend there's not a lot I mean I can kind of play with it I can add some wax into my paint I paint into my wax like da, 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 da. if I do acrylic I can just paint right on top of it okay all right I'm gonna add so I'm gonna grab my I don't have any white Jenny you know me better than that I have an idea. What if we add a little bit of the cowgirl coral to our yellow? It might, just to make it a little bit more red.
Yeah, let's just see. Let's play. Let's do that. Sadie and I didn't get to go to Wegmans on Tuesday. The boys uh, didn't go fencing. So they're gonna they're going tonight, so we're gonna go tonight. It's more of a sunset color. Let's just see. Let's see what we get. That might work. I'm gonna uh, spritz it a little bit so I can kind of blend this color in. White wax. Tammy, what about white wax? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like for this in particular, I'm probably not gonna go white wax. That's going a little more peach. I think I'm probably gonna end up going dark wax. All right, the question is, do we wanna go a little bit more green or do we wanna go a little bit more red? Here's a little bit more green. a little bit more what do you guys think can you see it well enough oh, I gotta stand back and look at it so do we want to pick, pick up the orange over here or do we want to pick up the chartreuse over here I guess that's the question M says M says green. I'm kind of, I'm kind of leading that way too, M. YouTube, what do you say? So, I'm just picking up some of the, I'm going to put a little bit of that yellow back. And that's the thing, you guys. I love to layer in so many layers, and even if I did put the coral first, I'm just going to put the green kind of on it. And then, I think I'm going to go more with Queen B than Liquid Sunshine because it's a little bit of a darker tone. I think I put too much green, but I think it's the idea is there. And it doesn't have to be all over. We just want to create a layer. Do you guys, can you see well enough there? I kind of like that green on top of it. I'm kind of just doing a wash of the green. Not a whole lot. I'm just like wetting it down mixing it up a little bit on my brush, wetting it down and just like highlighting a little just to tone it down. I'm not like trying to turn it into green. Almost like I'm watercoloring over it. I'm kind of doing a watercolor over. And this is Salty Kiss, you guys. If you get too much, if you get too much, just blot it. And if we don't like it, we can do another color on top of that. I mean, that's the thing. I'm kind of reactivating that yellow that was under there. Mixing it with a little bit of the Salty Kiss. And I'm just kind of going in the center. I'm not going all the way to the edge. All right, we'll stand back and we'll kind of look at it and see. Just 
turn it down ever so slightly. So I'm kind of blending it into the background. The blue right here is mermaid tail. I'm sure there's some boho in there somewhere, but that's mermaid tail. So really, you guys, the important thing to remember is you don't have to be exact. And if you do it and you don't like it, just use it for your next coat. You know, I think people get too scared about, well, what if I add that color and I don't like it? Well, then use it as the undertone for the next color, honestly. It doesn't, every, there's no wasted, the way I paint, there's absolutely no wasted color in putting on a color that doesn't work for you. If I decide I don't like this green and I wanna go more of an orange, I'll do that right on top, okay? I kind of like where it's a little heavier down there. What do you guys think? All right, let's stand back and look at the whole thing. You know what I was thinking today? Y'all, is there a thing? I don't do a lot of, um, I guess what you'd say, fine art. But I was working on the mural today, and I swear I burned most of my calories going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And so um, because you're doing kind of a fine detail work, but you need to see how it looks from afar. So what I felt like I needed was a camera um, behind me with the bigger, with a monitor in front of me. Does that exist? Does that exist? Y'all know what I mean? Like, I want to see this and then I want to be able to look up on a camera right here and see what it looks like from back there. But then I'd get no exercise at all. Let's be honest. That's my only form of exercise, is moving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay. Okay, so. I don't know. What do you guys think? We definitely toned it down. I'm not sure if it's what it needed or not. I'm just not sure. I'm gonna sit with it. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I think we definitely got the bright yellow out of it. Um. Betty, I do see your point because we've got this turquoise blue here and then it doesn't make another appearance down there, does it? It doesn't come back. So right here we have this green that kind of comes back over here. And we have the red that kind of comes back over here and over here and over here. Like, um, um, you liked it when it was wet? Yeah, I don't know. It still stuck out too much for me. I mean, it's still pretty much the same. I didn't do too much green on top. I mean, there's very little there. There's very little. I mean, I just watered it down just to see if I'd like it before I, I kept going. So this is one of those things where I just gotta wait. I just gotta come back. And that's why, that's why things take a long time, you guys. But the next thing I'm gonna do is just fine tune the colors. I'm going to pull this deep pink uh, over a little bit more and blend. I want to kind of cross blend these all together, but I think we're pretty much there. Do you guys see any other places on here? Um, I already did a lot of blending today before I jumped on with you guys. You can kind of see here. I want you guys to be able to kind of see the the richness of the colors we've got. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm giving a preview of how this is really gonna look, okay? See how much darker that is? See how much richer the tones are? A light purple over as well. Pull it from where, Kira? Which purple do you guys mean? There's so many purples. Little blue in the bottom corner of the yellow panel. Yeah, I can see that. 
So the next stage for me here is just, yeah, pulling over, pulling over. And now here's the thing. Um, once I put the acrylic coat on, if we decide we wanted to add a little bit more blue or a little bit more this, all you do, guys, is ma um, oh, that's Sadie. Yeah. Nothing. I just realized I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm at time. Um, we can still add that in either by mixing some. We can go right over the acrylic, acrylic or at that stage of blending is when I'm going to probably want to mix it, mix my paint with wax, and then we can keep adding. Okay. The cabinet, the maybe I'm going to keep playing with it. I might want to go darker red. I might want to just have it be a deeper tone. I've got this dark red, a dark blue, a dark, the, the, a dark blue. I mean the dark purple and then the bright yellow. It might mean that I just need to make that more of, I, maybe just making it more of an orange, like, um, I'll have to go back. Was that you, Terry? Yeah. I think we're there. All right, you guys, thank you so very much. I think this has been such a fun project. I think we're really close to being done. Um, I hope that you guys have had fun learning kind of how the paint works, uh, the different ways that you can blend it. Thank you for joining me today. Those of you who are watching over on YouTube. Um, so here's how these things work. Let me get where I can see both. All right, we're going to have a talk. We're going to have a talk. Okay. Lives every day, 5 o'clock, Monday through Friday, not every day, on Facebook. Um, and I always try to go live on one other platform just to see, check in, see how people are doing. But... The most happens here on Facebook. Um, everything I do, I usually try to make a short video out of. Bye, Lisa. Uh, short video out of for TikTok or Instagram, what have you. And at the end of the whole process, I usually put together a full video that you guys can find on YouTube. Okay? Edited. Just the facts. Not too much chatty chatty. Nah, that's a lie. I'm always chatting. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Tomorrow, I'm going on it. Five. I will probably be at the store tomorrow, not working here, but I want you guys to jump on with me because then we're going to kind of pass it on to my girl, Heather. Okay. Heather started buying DIY paints for me a year ago. Um, we became besties. Uh, we bonded over paint and then so much more. So I'm so excited for her. I've been talking to her for over a year. I mean, actually I think it was over a year. No. Oh my God. No, we've known each other two years. Because a year ago is when I started carrying her stuff in the store. Um, she called me to say happy anniversary for that. Wasn't that sweet? Um, and then we're going to go, we're all going to go like a field trip, and we're going to switch channels over um, and give our love uh, to Miss Heather, okay? It's going to be very exciting. She's never gone live before. Um, I have you. Oh. <laughs> M has me on mute because she's putting her little boy to bed. She says, I look too serious. I'm scaring her. So I'm just going to make faces. Ah, I'm making faces for her little boy. Hello. Um, <laughs> you guys have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow at five. Okay. Okay. Mwah, 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 mwah. It will be fun. It'll be like, it'll be a double action. Double action. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, YouTube, thanks for coming on. Um, some of you were on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. I will go back and watch the replay and see if there's anything I need Hello. to change in the settings uh, in case you guys weren't getting a good enough picture. Um, but if you enjoyed this live, please comment. Let me know if you like seeing me on over here. Uh, it's no trouble to set up a separate camera. My eyes get shifty, but that's just the way it happens when you're going live in multiple places. Um, but it's not about me. It's about that. Okay, we gotta run. Bye, guys. And she doesn't know how to turn it off from YouTube anymore, Sadie. Oh, I can change this, I can change that. Mute microphone, share, save, highlight, cancel. Lisa, where do you turn off the live? I honestly don't see it. Ah, oh, there it is, at top right. Bye, Lisa. Bye, everybody else. <laughs>